I would like to share with you a technique that's gonna sound strange, but it's gonna make you so much money. It's gonna improve your product, it's gonna improve your marketing, it's gonna make you differentiate, and it's called radical empathy. And we're gonna do an activity called the 99 problems activity. It's something I normally don't speak about outside of working with clients, but let's go and unpack it today. So radical empathy, what does that mean? It means to really get into the shoes of your customer. Here's the thing, you've been doing what you've been doing for many, many years. You've probably been doing it five, 10, 15, 20 years, and you've probably forgotten what it's like not to know. What do, what do I mean by that? Your customers, they don't know what you know. They don't know the trends. They don't know the best practices. They don't know the pillars of information that are useful. They don't know what is a stupid idea or a really good idea. They are really starting the journey miles and miles behind where you are right now. If you've been in your industry, you walk the walk and talk the talk every single day. For them, this is new, this is foreign, this is something that they're having to discover. So the key thing that you have to do is have radical empathy for what it's like not to know. You've got to get into the shoes of the customer who's just figuring this out. Now, when you do this, you're going to discover that customers want silly things, they think silly things, they make silly mistakes. All of that stuff happens to customers who don't know what they're doing. So for example, let's say a fitness trainer who they live and breathe fitness. They're in the gym every single day, they're reading books about it, they're watching videos, they're listening to podcasts. They know all sorts of things about health and fitness and diet and sleep and nutrition, blah, 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 blah. They've got all of that information in their head. But then there's this new customer who, for them, this is the beginning of their fitness journey. And they don't know what is a realistic time frame for losing weight. They don't know what is a, like a realistic way to build muscle. They don't know what changes they have to make. They, they don't have any of that sort of stuff. They're just experiencing their world and they're experiencing certain things that have happened that have led them to wanting to start a fitness journey. Radical empathy is putting to the side all that knowledge, all that experience, and going and standing in the shoes of the customer, so connecting with what it's like to be them. So that's where you begin, right? And the more you can do that, the more you can talk their language, create marketing materials that resonate, create sales conversations that connect. You can stand out, you can differentiate, you can make sure you don't confuse people. You can give them just enough information to move people forward in incremental steps that doesn't scare them away or overwhelm them. So here's one way to create more radical empathy. What I want you to do is imagine one of your perfect customers. And I want you to imagine that they experience 99 problems relating to their current situation. So to use the personal trainer example, the fitness example, what are 99 problems that someone experiences when they don't have fitness, when they haven't got the fitness results that you could offer them? They might have a lack of energy. They might not like the way that their clothes fit. They might not be sleeping well. They might feel that they lack strength in, uh, in the muscles that they wanna have. Right? There's 99 things that they're gonna be experiencing in a typical month that relate to not having fitness results. Now, the more you can do this activity, the more you can zone in on those 99 things, those 99 little experiences that people have, the more you will gain this skill called radical empathy. And the less you can do this, if you can't connect with people and if you can't identify the 99 things that niggle away at people, then it means that you don't have radical empathy for your customer just yet. So I really want to encourage you to go through this radical empathy activity where you think about one of your perfect customers before they begin their journey with you and you zoom in and you get inside their world and you think about the month or two months or three months leading up to working with you and identify those 99 little moments where things weren't perfect, where they wish something could have improved, where they had a niggle or they had something happen that made them go, hmm, something needs to change. And that process of identifying those 99 problems is going to give you radical empathy. It's a difficult activity. It sounds a little bit woo-woo, but it's one of the activities that I've used with my clients to generate massive breakthroughs in how we structure their products, how we do their marketing, how we have sales conversations, and ultimately how we connect with a lot more people in a more meaningful way. So try out the radical empathy activity called the 99 problems activity and let me know in the comments below, what did you learn from empathizing more closely with your perfect customer? If you like this video, give it a like, give it a subscribe on the channel, and I look forward to seeing you soon.